It's one of the warmest and driest beginnings of the year ever on the Wasatch Front. With that hint of spring feels nice, Utah needs a lot more winter or we will continue to sink deeper into drought. New specialist Jed Bulls live to tell us what kind of storms we need. Yeah, Deanie, you know, we didn't have any big snowstorms in January or February, which led to the driest start to the year on record. Fortunately, we have that storm coming this weekend and we need several more after that. This was the scene at Liberty Park as people soaked in the warmth. But Utah needs more of the weather we had in December when snowpack was well above normal. Two months later, we're hovering around 80% statewide. So it's really been catastrophically bad over the last uh, month and a half, and uh, we really need to turn turn on the snow quickly at this point. Hydrologist Jordan Clayton tells me the Utah Snow Survey measures snowpack at 135 sites. Half of them just had the driest 50 days ever, while others had the second or third driest. Fortunately, a storm is coming. And we're really optimistic about the storm. It's, it's looking like a moderate event, so we're not going to get where we need to be for this winter just from this event, but we're certainly excited about the possibility of some new snow up in the mountains. If it delivers one inch in snow water equivalent, he says we would need three more similar storms this month to bring Utah back to average just for this year. Another trend emerging at high elevation, snow density is higher than it should be this time of year, an indication the snowpack is getting ready to melt. Over the last 10 to 15 years, we've seen this more commonly than we had in the past. And the, the scary thing about that is that means it's going to take a little bit less energy from the, from the sun, from temperatures. It's going to take less energy input into that snowpack to start that melt cycle. One more reason Utah needs wet weather this March and April. Those are both really wet months typically. Uh, and, and so I, I'm, I'm remaining optimistic that we can still add significantly to our snowpack in these next two months. Yeah, we need to be optimistic. Our snowpack typically peaks April 1st, and we need to be on the plus side several years in a row to get out of this drought.